Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be uh, Aries and Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, August 20th to August 26, 2018. So let's go first to the Tarot cards and this is going to be a four position spread. Now the first position here does represent the topic for Aries this week. The second position <clears throat> resembles the core of the situation or why the first card is happening then the sec the third card excuse me that will uh, show us the challenges to be taken uh, from your behalf here during the week and the last one shows the uh, the guidance or how is the best way to cope with the uh, challenges and in general with the predicaments that you may face during the week so uh, let's see what you got here now the first card that is going to be eight of wands so this is going to be a quite dynamic week why it is because the eight of wands as it is represents a, a lot of opportunities coming in one's way also this represents that there is more than one way to approach a certain situation therefore the eight of wands it is showing to us Aries is that this particular week it is where you are gonna try to find a way to execute a particular undertaking or in general to overcome certain obstacles or a situation to settle things especially if we're talking about relationships here this card points that there is a way you know to uh, resolve certain issues disagreements etc etc with your partner or in general with people that you are um, <clears throat> interacting with into your daily environment like a co-workers you know or like a, a friends etc etc but also the eight of wands it is a, a card of dynamic as i said so you can expect that this week there will be a lot of uh, activities coming in your way and you will be kind of like carried on with the current here as you may kind of start feeling that you are burning up rather quickly and at the end of the week most likely it is where you will just yearn for some rest and for some time uh, for yourself you know just to contemplate upon what is um, what has been achieved and what yet is to be achieved uh, when it comes to your future then the next card represents uh, the uh, core of the situation or why you're gonna have such a big activity here that will be the five of swords so in regards to the eight of wands that card rather speaks for a dare so i do believe that as we do have that card someone will dare you to do a certain things uh thus far uh impossible seemingly to be um to be executed or, or to be kind of like achieved that could be a, a very um you know uh, a, a very difficult project at your job or that could be as well uh, you know a certain dare into your relationship where your partner dares you to do something just so you can prove you know how much the relationship means etc etc but that card it is rather more leaning toward uh, being provoked now you need to know that uh, most likely that particular dare is going to happen uh, through uh, mental cruelty, through uh, maybe attempt to be humiliated over something, you know, for example, someone may uh, start pushing you um, um, with the um, prerequisite of that you are not good enough, you know, and therefore you have to prove them uh, prove them yeah that you are good enough you know for the certain job or for the certain relationship by showing how big your capabilities are etc etc and uh, it is very important during that particular week guys to kind of like if you are capable to shut down your emotions uh, to a certain extent because those who are very emotional will be really kind of like um, that, that feeling of despondency will start dwelling deeper and deeper within your uh, within in yourself and um, <clears throat> this particular state could deprive you from um, inspiration you know to really find a way through and to find your niche of how you should tackle with this particular undertaking or with this particular activity so it's all about you know uh, how much you believe in yourself Aries and um, 
you know, despite of what people are trying to push you around with, uh, that you know how much you're worth. It is all about that here. Now, the next card represents the um, challenges to be overcome here. That will be the two of pens, uh, the two of cups, excuse me. And the two of cups here points that it is unlikely that you are going to find a support you know, at, um, regarding your points of view or regarding, you know, your standpoints here. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> you will have to deal with uh, with your situations on your own. And even if you have seemingly um, a stable support from somebody, it is going to be just only an, an emotional support. And these people will either be incapable to do something to help you or they will be un un unwilling to uh to do something to help you it is just the support will be through talks it will be through um you know through conversations etc etc the two of cups here points that you have to be rather more prepared for a little bit of a more hostile environment into your career and when it comes to relationship uh this card rather points to either shyness or ignorance here so your partner may be um rather more ignorant to see from your points of view and that's why they are dare you to do a particular thing or if it is about a person of interest here then this person of interest will be rather shy and you have to uh, kind of like do some extreme efforts here to overcome the shyness, the shyness from their behalf but when we're talking about the two of cups you need to know that um, how can I place it um, you kind of need you, you need to be prepared that there will be no one no one there to share your burden at least not instantly and you have to dig deep in your social environment to find such a person <clears throat> and the last card here represents the um the guidance that you should uh kind of exert into your uh week page of wands so page of wands first of all it is um it is a very broad card in the sense of that the Page of Wands is always open for everything new that it is about to come into their way. But for your reading here, it has even a deeper meaning. The Page of Wands go against everybody. Now, the Page of Wands is that idea that no one finds really lucrative or uh, very mature there. Uh, however, the page, the page of Wands kind of stick to that idea no matter what the rest think about. And it is kind of like and it stands for the lonely voice in the desert but as the page of wands shouts its idea long enough eventually someone hears it so uh, in that particular sense the page of wands stands for personal strength here for that no matter what the situation is right now you stick to your um, to your part, to your sovereignty, if you want to say it that way as well, and you believe in your personal strength, because the Page of Wands points that on your own you are much stronger than being with someone else helping you there. It is because of uh, at this particular state here with these cards, the one that will help you actually may cause additional predicaments for your undertaking. So, uh, this card as an, an advice here as a guidance ask you to really tackle with your uh with your undertakings uh by yourself and also even your ideas or your your look your vision upon the things seems rather a little bit more immature and a little bit unfinished here you know here and there it does worth exploring so this week for you uh it's it's really advisable to exert creativity here uh, of how you approach your situations and despite of what people think about your performance and your aims that should not discourage you you know to not pursue your points of happiness and your aims in general and uh, then we do we will make a Lenormand reading for you to see an important event that is going to happen for you uh, Aries is during the week and the first card we do have the uh, whip and the broom followed by the um, the birds and afterwards we do have the mountain 
So it is exactly what I was talking about. Now we do have here conflicts and new feelings resembled in the uh, in the Five of Swords here, where you get there, and happens through uh, or rather they regard to either gossips or social media. So that yeah, that will be. Um, kind of like um, pushed through the social media through gossips here these conflicts and your feelings which are going to cause you difficulties here and delays in regarding certain achievements that you want to that you want to reach or an undertakings that you have uh, already pushing through so yeah the, you are going to be rather challenged or dared should I say that way through social media by uh, by um, being uh, being afflicted with ill feelings through conflicts and all, the, all those things are going to cause predicaments into or delays uh, into your current undertakings until you don't uh, overcome you know this there and this challenge that has been um, um, <clears throat> has been raised from a, a third party. So that being said, there is this. This was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 20th to August 26, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing up now. See you next time. Bye.